Today's video is going to be a little bit different. It's probably going to be my least watched video of the year, which is unfortunate because in my opinion, this would probably be one of the most important videos that I'm, I'm ever going to make. If you watch the news and you listen to a lot of the rhetoric that's out there regarding the police, everybody is saying that we need police reform that police reform is the most important thing that we can do to improve our society. Everything will be better if we only reform the police. The question that I have is, what effect are you going to get with these reforms? What's your goal? And what are you going to do that the police aren't already doing? Because everybody's acting like the police have just been doing the exact same thing since the 1920s and they're running around with Tommy guns, just murdering people on the side of the street. The reality is that is very far from the truth. So what I'm going to do today is I've actually pulled up the annual reports from 2019. These are going to be the Columbus police annual report and the Columbus police use of force annual report. I have to use the reports from 2019 because so much stuff happened last year in 2020, those reports are not yet finished. I think for the purposes of this discussion, these reports will be fine because much of the data goes back five years and there's even more parts of the data that go back 10 years. What this does, it'll show you a trend and it might actually be better to use the 2019 report rather than the 2020 report because those numbers are going to be significantly skewed because of everything that happened last year. The first slide that I'd like to take a look at is going to show the total number of uses of force that Columbus police had on an annual basis from 2015 to 2019. I think a lot of people would be surprised to find out that in 2019, there were only 390 instances where officers had to use force. And of those uses of force, only 12 were with a use of firearm or a officer involved shooting. One thing that's really interesting about this slide is that you can see a downward trend consistently year over year in the number of total reported uses of force. I think this information will surprise a lot of people. There's a lot of talk politically and in the media that we need to change the police and change the way they act because they're using too much force. One thing people don't realize is that the police are constantly changing their tactics in order to make this correction on their own. This slide shows the number of calls for service Columbus police officers respond to on an annual basis. I'm going to go ahead and do the math for you or tell you that the math has already been done. In 2019, Columbus police officers took a little over half a million runs. I believe it's going to be in one of the slides coming up. It's somewhere around 538,000 calls for service. The slide we're looking at now is going to show the total number of arrests made year over year. The orange part in the color coded is going to be part one arrest, which are classified as murder, rape, robbery, aggravated assault, burglary, larceny and theft, theft of vehicles. The part in the bottom, which is blue, would be all other arrests, which would be your disorderly conducts and stuff like that. In 2019, Columbus police officers arrested 26,808 people. I guess it'd be more correct to say they made 26,808 arrests because a lot of those arrests were with the same person multiple times. The data on the next slide is going to take the total number of incidents that police officers in Columbus responded to, and it's going to divide that with the number of uses of force that were reported. So according to the data on this sheet, Columbus police officers took in 2019 553,727 incidents or calls for service and an approximately one out of 1400 of those incidents 
turned into a use of force. That means that less than 0.07% of the time, officers are having a use of force with a citizen when they're dispatched on a call for service. The slide I have for you now is going to show in the last 10 years the trend of violent crime. And over the last 10 years, violent crime has been trending down. There's a very close correlation between the downward trend in violent crime and the downward trend in police uses of force. Some people might even say that when violent crime is on the rise, police officers are going to have more uses of force. And when violent crime is down, police officers are going to have less uses of force. The data on this page shows the breakdown in police uses of force in the city of Columbus along gender and racial lines. I think a stat that's going to jump out to a lot of people is that police officers in Columbus have had uses of force against male blacks at a rate of 56%, while at male whites it was 41%. A lot of people are going to point to that and say that that's a disproportional response because black men make a smaller than 56% proportion of the population in the city of Columbus. When people point out the disproportionate response police officers have to different races in the community, I would like to point out that crime in the community is also not spread out proportionally based on the demographics of the city. Here is the chart. This is from the 2020 homicide report, which I have in my possession. I wasn't able to find the 2019 report online. But what this shows is the suspects broken down by race. And with homicides, the suspects are 80% black and 14% white. So when you take this figure and then you look back at the previous slide that showed police officers use force 56% of the time against black men and 41% of the time against white men, it can begin to show why that might happen. The final thing that I would like to show you is the I'll call this the executive summary of the use of force report. This is where the use of force experts weigh in and give their opinion on what happened the previous year. And then they're going to lay out the recommendations for training that are going to be implemented in the following year. So in conclusion, in 2019, officers used force 390 times while responding to 553,727 incidents, which equates to one use of force for every 1,016 incidents. Only 0.7% of the incidents resulted in a use of force. Further, 12 incidents, or 0.002%, resulted in an officer discharging his firearm at another person. Annual training continues to focus on various aspects of use of force, including de-escalation and officer safety. Recommendations. Revised policy requires officers to intervene when they witness excessive force. The training bureau will incorporate scenarios to reinforce this policy. Training on punches, kicks, and impact weapon strikes will continue to focus on Target acquisition. Specified training is to reduce and eliminate injuries to both the suspect and the officers. Several firearm related incidents have highlighted the need for officers to be more cognizant of their area and behind the intended target. Training will remind officers to be aware of crossfire and other people in the line of fire. De-escalation is now integrated into all use of force training in both classrooms and scenario-based learning environments. 
Use of force on persons suffering from mental illness will be emphasized. In 2019, there were 25 uses of force on mentally ill people. Though consistent in recent years, remains a focus of the division and the training bureau. So now that you've had an inside look at how Columbus Division of Police collects their stats and makes recommendations for future years, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you learned something and I'll talk to you soon.